What's Cooking at Our House. I'm Connie Hampton. And I'm Dottie Phelps, and I would like to welcome you to my home and especially to my kitchen. Our and favorite place to our be. Our favorite place to be. <laughs> I, you know, I love to cook, and I even cook when it's just me. I, I like to cook, right. and, and uh, it's, it's not a big deal. Well, I, what was so funny was Dottie had a bunch of us out one night, and we were cooking, and it was like we couldn't cook because the camera wasn't rolling. The camera running. wasn't rolling. We didn't know what to do. <laughs> there was people in our space, and yeah. I'm thinking, this doesn't feel right. This, this doesn't, doesn't feel, feel right. right. It should be just the two of us, and everybody else was wanting to get into, into the... Right. Wanting to feel it and wanting to experience what we were cooking, because we had done a cooking show, actually, on what we fed them that yes. night. Yes, yes, we um, had. We'd done panini sandwiches. Yeah, the paninis, yeah. Uh, but we are going to cook. Uh, our recipe is called a citrus glazed ham. And Miss Dottie went to the grocery store to find us a ham. It was bad. I, you it know, wasn't as easy as we no, thought. No, it wasn't as easy as I thought. And I don't know if this is not the ham season, you know, most of the Eastern that. Christmas, you right. know, Thanksgiving. But I went out and I went to the grocery store and, and I, all they had was a spiral cut. And this particularly calls for a bone-in, a whole or a half ham. It's six, seven pounds is, is what the recipe calls for. Right. And I think uh, what I have is a little bit bigger. But anyway, uh, I couldn't find it. They, they didn't have it. Yeah. So uh, I went out of town, and I went, and I when I went up to the, the meat thing where they keep the ham, they had two. <gasps> So one Connie, to cook before the show and one to cook yeah, on the show. <laughs> because Connie needed one and I needed one, so because we had to have one ready because it takes two and a half hours for this to cook. So I, I was just, I couldn't believe. <laughs> of course, number one that I was lucky enough to find two because right. I told Connie I'd pick hers up too. And uh, but I, I hadn't thought about it being the season. I never either. Yeah. And I want to tell you what I got was a Smithfield ham. I wish they would sponsor our show like they do Paula Dean, but uh, oh. they are, they're the best ham that I've found. I've, I've used several different kinds. And, and very little fat. Very little fat. And, and this recipe tell, says to trim the fat off. There's hardly any fat on here. So right. I did trim just a little bit. But anyway, I, that's, I have found that this is the best ham mm -hmm. for the and price. The good thing about the bone-in ham we were talking about previously is we can use the ham, have a nice dinner, but then afterwards we've still yeah. got that bone yes. and the meat that's clung to yes. the bone and have, uh, you were saying a pot of soup. You can do soup. Bill or... was saying a pot of beans. Yeah. So, you know, it's that's... twofold. Right. Twofold. There's, there's a lot of so things So we're getting a lot for our it. money. Yeah. We're getting yeah. more it's... meals than what you really that's think That's one of. thing. When, when I do a ham, normally I do a ham at, at Christmas time. I, I never waste, never throw any ham away. Right. I, you can freeze that, and then you can fix, like I said, a pot of beans, a ham and beans, or, or soup. Right. It makes a wonderful ham soup. I've never made ham soup. Oh, it's good. I can do them pot it's of beans. Or you, you could do uh, ham and cabbage, if you like someone that likes cooked cabbage. I like cabbage, you but know. Bill doesn't. But, uh, and, well, not everybody does. But anyway, okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut this in a diagonal. I'm still working here. In a diagonal uh, cut, and we're going to put the cloves in there. Now, I normally don't do this, and I... I uh, is it going to be like a dot? You're going to. I'm going to do a diamond thing, but I'm going to have to get this turned right. Right. I'm, I. Uh, We're letting the artist do the diamonds here. Yeah. And and you just make those cuts. Yeah. On a diagonal, and when we get that done, then we're going to go back the other way and do a diagonal, and that's what makes your your diamond cut. And then we're going to poke those clothes in there. Got them. I, the one I fix normally, I do, uh, I don't do this. I have uh, uh, a, a basting sauce that, that I use. And I've got to get it the right angle. I've got to get here. it the right angle. I've got to get my mouth set right. Yeah. There we go. Before I can do this. And for those of you that don't know Dottie as well as I do, when I do a ham, I use pineapples. And no. Dottie doesn't like pineapples, so that's probably why we chose this recipe. Well, Connie said today, she said, I couldn't believe that didn't have pineapples on it. I said, well, if it had pineapples on it, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> so we're going to stick the cloves in the corners of our diamonds, correct? Well, no, I, I put mine in the center. 
Oh, okay. Uh, you just, that way it, now well, I don't know. See? Oh, in the center of the square. Yeah, in okay. the center of I'm the square. You. I'm with you. And this calls, I think, for 30 or 32. Right. Which, so you're not, you're probably not going to have some of these little squares with, with a clove in it, but that's okay. Just And when we take it out of the oven, we're going to be sure and take the cloves out. Do you? I don't. Don't? Uh -uh. What if I bite into one? Well, surely you can take see it. it. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> surely you can see it. I honey. might be so hungry that I might just bite into a clove. Well, I think it would probably be cooked softly enough that it wouldn't oh. hurt you, but, but no, I don't. Of course, I don't normally do this. I have a, I do put uh, ground cloves in my rest in my sauce, but uh -huh. but I don't normally stick this. But most recipes do tell you to, to stick your cloves in there. I would have used a lot more if I'd stuck it at each corner. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. Well, and I'm not saying that that that's not how you're supposed to do it because, like I said, I've never done this before as far as with the cloves sticking We're them in there. We're learning as we but, go. But. Uh, this accentuates your diamond sure. pattern. Visual. Yeah. Another visual. Yeah. And, uh, but it's, uh, anyway. Okay. Now that's going in really, really, those yes, are going in just really well. Right I, in. Yeah, I had a little trouble with some today. And I, really? Yeah. I don't know. Well, they're just sticking right in. Could have been the way I was holding my mouth. I don't know. You just but. needed your partner beside you. I guess that's what the problem is. Can't cook without you, Connie. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. I think we've just about got it here. Okie doke. All right. I'm going to move well, that. It says to cook in a aluminum foil lined pan. So we've got our aluminum foil in there. And you this will. is the interesting part. Yeah, it's very interesting. And silly me, I went to look. Uh, the recipe calls for a bottle orange juice flavored soft drink and I got to look at the ingredients and it says nothing about orange juice. I thought maybe there was a special soda out there somewhere that had yeah. orange juice in it. Yeah. Anyway. Just an orange drink. Yeah. Just an well, orange drink. I'll tell you what, I was just about to the point that I was going to put orange juice in it. Oh, well, instead of Instead of the, the soda. Drink. But I thought, yeah, but I thought, well, the carbonated maybe does something. Well, so. actually, when I checked out at the grocery store, the young lady thought that I had, because I bought just a 20 ounce uh, yeah. soda. She thought I'd bought it to drink on the way home, yeah. and she said, do you want me to leave this out? And I said, no. I said, it's going to go on a recipe. And she said, what kind of a recipe? So I told her what we were doing. Yeah. She said, let me know. Because yeah. the orange soda really enticed her. That, yeah, you know, it's, you, it's you different. That. It's sure. different. Yeah. Ingredients uh, is our six to seven pound fully cooked bone-in ham, one 10 ounce bottle of orange juice flavored soft drink, one and one fourth cups of orange marmalade, a fourth of a cup of Dijon mustard, 30 to 32 whole cloves, and a half a cup of firmly packed light brown sugar. And what Dottie is doing now is mixing that uh, soda with the next three ingredients, which is the marmalade, the mustard, and the brown sugar. And I, I, I measured when I did this earlier, I measured, so I'm not measuring today because I know about what We're it's going to you're going to have just... So I think that's 18 ounces, the yeah. marmalade. You're going to have 18 ounces. a little bit left. Breakfast but, uh, in the morning. Yeah. But anyway, I, that's why I didn't measure this time. So, okay. Must Dijon mustard. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yum, yum. Yum. And brown, brown sugar. sugar. Interesting. Yep. Okay. This is this is going to be good. And then we just pour. Whoops. Here, I got it. <laughs> pour that on the floor. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I should have I should have got a, a whisk for a this whisk. instead of this spoon. Would you like me got, to get you one? Yeah, I've got it now. Okay. I've just about got it all done now. Pour this into our crevices. Mmm, look at the bottom down there at all the goodies. Mm -hmm. Yum. Oh, that is going to be so good. It smells good. I guess you all can tell I didn't have lunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're stirring together the soft drink, the next three ingredients. We're going to pour that over the ham. We're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven on the lower rack. Uh, for two hours and 30 minutes.
basting with the pan juices every 20 minutes and then we'll remove the ham, let it stand for 15 minutes before serving and then garnish it with whatever kind of garnishes that you yeah, would like to garnish. Yeah, the slice or whatever. <laughs> right. Um, this is uh, ready to go ready and to I feel go. I'm going to gently pour this over this. So that it'll go into mm -hmm. the... Now, if, if this starts getting too brown on top, put you a, uh, make you a little tent-like thing out of aluminum foil and put on there and just, just lay it on there and then it's not difficult to, to just take it off whenever you start to baste it. But uh, just in case it does, mine today started getting a little bit brown. Here comes the good stuff at the bottom of yeah. the... Yeah. Here we go. This is going to be so good. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. This is... Here comes the good stuff. Oh. And see how it's hanging here? Yeah. Now, the, 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 the cuts can help to hold it right. And we're going to, uh, after we get this poured, we're going to do a little ham 101 here, Miss Dottie. Yes, yes, we do need to. There's, there's lots of oh, different see, this hands is looking, ooh, good, yeah. good, good. Looking really good. Oh, oh yes. It's good. This, huh. this may be my new Christmas recipe. There you go. And it's I'm real simple. Turn it around and let them see all sides yeah. here. That side looks really good. That's, that's pretty. Ooh, that's Isn't pretty. Isn't that pretty? That is just gorgeous. Very good. Okay. Okay. Uh, Before we put that uh, in the oven, let's talk about ham 101 here. Right. Um, we talked about the ham that we're using has a bone in it, and the hams with bone in them usually have more flavor. I think they do. The bone, the bone has a, a flavor all of its own. I think, and it and it. It just enhances the flavor of the meat. Right. I, I like I like the bone in, like with pork chops or chicken or whatever. Mm -hmm. I like I like to use the bone in, and you know there is several different uh, ways to to do a ham. Of course, the ham comes from the leg of the hog, of course, and you can buy them cooked, uncooked, dry cured, or wet cured. Now, cooked ham can be served directly from the refrigerator. I mean, it's it's already cooked. When it says it's fully cooked, it's fully cooked. Uh, if you want to serve it hot, you can heat it in an oven uh, with a temperature uh, at 350 degrees until the internal temperature gets to 140 degrees. Some people just slice it off and, and put it in a skillet and, and kind of fry it like. Right. You can do it that way. Uh, at 140 degrees, the ham will be thoroughly warmed and moist. And your uncooked hams should be heated to an internal temperature of 160 degrees in a 350 degree un oven. And depending on, on the size of your ham, of course, right. and you just plan to cook it for 18 to 25 minutes per pound. Per pound, yeah, okay. Yeah, per pound. And be sure that you, you get that. That's very important. Per pound. Uh, dry cured hams are rubbed with salt, sugar, and other seasonings and then stored until the salt penetrates the meat. And that's why, you know, the, these uh, country hams are so salty. Oh, I, I don't like them either. I, but some people do. Oh, I know, but, and, uh, but my it's, health uh, says no. Yeah, they're, mm -hmm. they're just way too salty. And then the wet cured hams are seasoned with a brine solution, which keeps the meat moist and produces a more tender texture. And if you've ever had a country ham, you know that it's tough. But, th just... but this, with the brine, it would be more, more tender. Uh -huh. But still, again, that's, gonna, that's a lot of salt, and there's already a lot of, there's a lot of salt in these cooked right. hams. Right. So be careful when you buy your ham. If, if you're watching your salt, be careful right. you know, what you do. So... I think we're about ready to go to the oven. Okay. Our end product, Miss Dottie, is just beautiful. It is beautiful. I'm very pleased with the way it looks. It, yes. It looks, it's just glazed and... and uh, it almost looked candied. Yes. You know? it, it, I'm going to turn it around. Right. And it, it, just, it just shines. It's so pretty. Yes. And I, I really... Jewels. It looks like jewels. Yes. And then the, the front of it, that's... Uh, I think it looks very pretty. And it was it makes not a nice hard at all. presentation. Not no, hard at all. very simple, very easy. 
the hardest part is going to be uh, basting it every 20 minutes. Right. And you cook it for two and a half hours and uh, baste it every 20 minutes. And again, if mine started to get a little bit dark, and, and if it does, why well, just put you a tent of aluminum foil over there, mm -hmm. and it's real simple to take off and put back on whenever right. you get ready to, to baste it. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. It looks great. Easy, easy, easy. Citrus glazed ham. And remember, uh, you can email Miss Dottie at recipes at YHCTV. I almost forgot where I yeah. was. I started to say my college email. <laughs> YHCTV.com, dot com, dot com, dot yeah. com, hello, it's been a long day, or if you do not have email and want uh, to send a self-addressed stamped envelope to What's Cooking at Our House, P.O. Box 712, Dexter, Missouri, 63841, we'll get you the recipe back as quick as we can, uh, thank you for watching, and Miss Dottie, Good recipe. Thank you. Good choice. Uh, we sit yeah. down once a year and try to get our year ahead of game. Yes. And uh, this was one that I had actually forgotten about yeah. until I got to looking at my recipes the other day, and I was like, yum, a ham. Yeah. Wonderful. In the middle of summer. In the middle yeah. of summer, because it's yeah. usually a holiday thing. Yeah, but, it usually uh, is. But this goes a long way. You've got somebody, it, a bunch of people in the backyard. Yeah. You can slice oh, and slice and slice. Sandwiches, it's going to be wonderful. Absolutely. Absolutely wonderful. Very good. Be sure that you let it set once you take it out of the oven. Be sure that you let it set for 15 minutes before you cut it. That's so that all the juices can... Uh, get settled inside there and, and because if you cut it before uh, it's set for a while your juices are going to run out and then your ham's going to be dry so just be sure that, that you let it set for 15 minutes before you cut it. We were talking about cutting also that we would probably use an electric knife. Yes I think I, I would. would. I, I brought my chef's knife over here but I think in order to cut this and to make it look real pretty and presentation you know it's everything. Right. I, we're going to do it. I'm going to get out my electric knife whenever and we get ready to cut buzz it. it. Yeah. Thank you for letting us come to your My home. My pleasure. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Lots of stuff to learn. Thank you all for watching and uh, join us again for What's Cooking at Our House. I'm Connie Hampton. And I'm Dottie Phelps. See you soon. Bye now.